All right, everyone. Um, you're all very welcome uh, to break through performance. Where we all last week, and then there might be a few of you that were called last week's wasn't here. You're all very welcome. Um, again, I suppose last week I didn't play music and stuff like that on the on the recordings because uh, I suppose it's just we would have. And it is our first night and getting music in the back. So if you're at home, you're welcome to throw it on. For, for now, I'll, I'll get started and we'll uh, go through what exactly we're going to be doing tonight as well. So um, tonight's main focus is on mobility, core strength, unilateral and single leg strength with a mix of fitness and a bit of crack as well. So all is very relevant to GE at the minute. Um, what do you call it? I suppose when it comes to mobility and stuff like that, um, I suppose for 14 to 17 year olds, it's something that's highly expected. And yeah, it's all very relevant at the minute. And something that um, probably 14 to 17 year olds neglect an awful lot is mobility. And um, it's something that we want to just uh, try to get you into a, a pattern of and a wee routine of it tonight. And it's something that you can always bring into your sessions uh, before sessions or as prehab work and stuff like that. Um, the other aspect of it is twisting and turning, so our unilateral and single leg strength. GEA football will be spending an awful lot of time on a single leg when it comes to jumping, kicking, um, all different uh, types of movements like that. So again, our single leg uh, strength is a massive part um, of tonight's session. Um, again, um, a wee bit of fitness work will be thrown in, and um, again, the fitness work will it will all depend on how much you put into the put into the session yourself. So again, if you're working at about fifty percent, you're only gonna you're only gonna improve by fifty percent. So we want to try and get everybody working at hundred percent. But um, it's pretty cold here in the gym tonight. Um, I'd say it's very cold uh, for a lot of you if you've been outside. So we we'll get you on the move, get you well warmed up, and get into it. All right. So and um, to start off, we're just gonna get a wee bit of movement. Prep started, all right. So the first thing we're gonna do is just get on to um, onto the spot, jogging anywhere at all, just nice and comfortable, getting your arms moving, all right. So all we're trying to do now is get our blood flowing and get into it, all right. So arms coming forward, that's the job, and backwards, that's it, right up past the ears, full rotations, that's the job, and then just into a windmill, going opposite hand, opposite ankle, for five, four, Three, two, and down. So everything's nice and light now, but all we're doing is trying to get blood flowing, getting on the move. That's the job, just going into a light uh, knee lift for five, four, three, two, one. Light heel lift for five, four, three, two, one. And again, arms coming forward. That's it, right up past the ears for five, four, three, two, and one. And backwards again. Same as that, right up past the ears. For five, four, three, two, one. Again, windmills, opposite hand, opposite ankle, good big rotation. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff. Just on to a spot then. I'm just going to do it up and over the hurdles. So lift up and across again. Nothing major. Don't do anything too fast. You don't want to hurt yourself. And then close it up and over the hurdles as well. So Keep moving, lifting up and over. Make sure everybody's muted here again. All right, that's it, keep it going. So just keep on the spot, lifting up and over, up and over, good stuff. Deadly from there then, just go a couple of light lunges. So step forward lunge on both legs, step back lunge on both legs, that's it. And then we'll just step into the side lunge on both legs. That's it, good stuff, just back onto the spot then. Knees up, heels up, knees up, good stuff, keep it going, heels up, knees up, and heels again. So again, all nice and light, nothing uh, too major there, all right, so going to get into a wee bit of mobility work now. So something that you could build into your sessions before every session you do, again, it's something that um, we would do an awful lot of uh, before sessions, prehab work, again, something that you should be trying to do at home as much as possible too. So 
we're going to work shoulders first in an exercise that's called T, Y, and W. So, all right. So, do you want to just go to the floor, get yourself a mat or whatever you have, and then we're just going to go lying down the floor, two arms out to the side, and resting your forehead on the ground. All right. So, first of all, all we're going to do is try to retract our shoulder blades from there. Getting our tongues up to the ceiling, and then we're just lifting up and finding that pinch between the shoulder blades for four, three, two, one. Good stuff. That's it. So back then, we're doing the same thing again. Retract those shoulder blades, get the tongues up to the ceiling, and lift up. That's it. Squeeze your shoulder blades together for three, two, one, and down again. I'm probably lifting my head there because I want to talk, and uh, you can hear me. Put your um, your head on the floor, all right? Ready, retract, lift up, tongue up to the ceiling, hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff. From there, we're going to go into a wide position. So we want to get our two arms out and shift for wide, and we're repeating that same movement, all right? So head on the floor, retract shoulder blades, thumbs up, and squeeze the shoulder blades back together for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Same again, then keep your head on the floor, retract, thumbs up, squeeze, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, well done. I'm going to change that into a W, so both hands are going out to the side. So hopefully, you can see me there. And both hands out to the side again, head down to the floor, W position, lift those shoulder blades back, thumbs up, and lift again for five, four, Three, two, and one. Good work. You should start to feel that burn in between the shoulder blades now. Just doing one more. Head on the floor, retract, thumbs up, and squeeze. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff. Deadly, just back up on your feet then. And we're getting our shoulders moving again. So full rotation, trying to make sure that the ball and the socket is moving correctly through the joint. All right, so moving around. That's it, nice full rotations forward, that's it, and backwards again, that's it. So our hands, palms to the floor, that's it, just moving. Really try to get your shoulder blades up and round, nearly like you're shrugging them, and then relax. Good stuff, everyone, Debbie. From there, we're just going to go into um, some hip work now, all right? So um, great hip exercise called 90 all right? So just going down onto the floor. Going to get both legs at 90 degrees and we're just going to get our chest up nice and tall and try to get our shoulder blades parallel to our lean knee. So both legs, most of these would be in school I'd imagine, both legs at 90 degrees, up nice and tall, chest up, head up and then we're just going to bring our chest down to the floor. So we want both knees right into the floor, bring your chest as close to the floor as you can and come up tall again. So when we're here at that top position, we want to concentrate on keeping both heels tight to the floor and come up and rotate around. If you put your hands behind you, help yourself rotate around, come up nice and tall again. Again, you should land in the same position on the opposite side with our shoulders parallel to our lean leg, all right? From there, chest to the floor again, hold it for three, two, one, and come up, nice one, same again, both heels on the floor, up and rotate, keep them nice and tall in the chest, and drop to the opposite side, good stuff, a wee bit harder now, you want to stay in this middle, middle part of, uh, of your body, all right, so we're staying up nice and tall here, and then we're just going to try to lift our back leg without getting the big rotation of our chest and our shoulders, we want to keep our chest aligned all the time, and lifting for five, Four, three, two, and one. Good stuff. From there, we're just going to go into a heel lift now. So again, the heel lift is a wee bit tougher. Should find a wee bit of the a wee bit crampy. From there, stay up tall. And we're just trying to lift our back heel off the floor. Again, try not to rotate around. If you find this very difficult, come forward a wee bit and lift. If you find it easy, stay up as tall as you can and maybe even hold it up for a second or two. That's it. Go on for another two seconds. One, and relax, good stuff. Again, heels into the floor, up and rotate around. That's it, so up as tall as you can. Chest and shoulders nice and parallel, 
and we'll go with that knee lift again. So lift it up, find that stretch. You should find it in your in your glute and in your hip flexor a wee bit. Lift three, two, one. Good. From there, then just lifting the heel up the floor for three, two, one. And if you can, just hold it up now for a second. One, two, and down. If you need to come forward a wee bit, do lift up, hold it. Three, two, one. Good. That one. From there, nice and tall. I'm just going to rotate through our hips again. If you can, try to use no hands and come to the opposite side. Should always be landing that same position. No hands again if you can. And round. Again, so good for your hips. Ball and sockets rolling through the joint correctly. Um, brilliant for that movement. Uh, movement on the football field too. Um, again, next one we're going to do, if you grab a football, um, just grabbing the ball, we're going to try to test out our, uh, our squat. All right, so from there, we're just going all above the head, get into that deep squat position, trying to prolong your chest, get your chest up as tall as you can, back as straight as you can, try not to reach out front, up nice and tall, and press out. But once you come out, just kick left, kick right, and we're doing the same again. So again, get that chest nice and big. Hold the head, sit in, keep that chest up, get as low as you can. Three, two, one, come on. Kick left, kick right. One more. Let's try to get a wee bit deeper this time. Up as tall as you can, ready, and sit. Try to get your bones to the floor. That's it. Prolong your chest, and come on. So that's our wee bit of hip mobility work. Again, you might find this a wee bit monotonous, a wee bit slow. No yeah. worry. Uh, right to the top work is going to go in a while, all right? So next one then, we're just going to go into a wee bit of hamstring work. Um, so going forward, I suppose from, from any age on, as you start getting a wee bit taller and stuff, hamstrings are going to develop that wee bit more. So important to keep them injury free um, as well. So again, another good bit of exercise. So if you want to start, both knees on the floor, come down, hands in front. All we're going to do from there is go left foot up to left hand and just keep your palm to your hand on the floor. From there, we're just going to sit back, slide back, lift your toe off the floor and slide forward. All right, so I go front on. Again, same as that. Slide back, lift the toe off the floor, slide forward. Don't hold the stretch too long. Stay, same as that, palm on the floor, slide back and come forward. Last one, slide back, lift the toe, keep your palm your hand on your floor, on the floor, slide forward. Good work, well done. From there then, make it a wee bit tougher, we're going to try to cramp it up a wee bit. So again, the one we're just after working, put it on the floor and get the other into that position of a hip flexor stretch. From here, we're going to imagine that we have a tennis ball in between uh, our calf and our hamstring, and from there, all we're going to do is try to crack the tennis ball. So lift up again. You can be a wee bit wobbly. Try to engage your core, so squeeze your core, get your tummy nice and tight, glutes nice and tight. Lift up, pinch it. Three, two, one, and down. So you should find that wee cramping sensation in your hamstring. Ready? Last one of those. Lift. Three, two, one, and down. Good stuff. Uh, long. Shake it out, that's the job. And then we'll go on to the opposite side. So again, hip, uh, hip flexor position, right palm down beside the, beside the foot. And then we're just gonna slide back again. Slide back, heel off the floor, come forward. So it's only a second or two, slide, come forward. Good work, well done, that's it. Same as that again now, slide back, lift, Come forward again. Always trying to keep your hand on the on the floor. Try to get a wee bit more out of the hamstring each time. Come forward. Good. Last one now. Slide and forward. Good work. Well done. Again, that leg goes to the floor this time. Again, core nice and tight. Glutes engaged. From there, we're just lifting up and pinch. Pinch for three, two, one down. Lovely. Same again. Up. Pinch it, crack the tennis ball, and there, good. And um, there, ready? All right, so one more. Ready, up, pinch, three, 
two, one, and down. Good stuff. That arm kicking out in front. That's it. Just loosen it out. Hamstrings well warmed up now. That's the job. We're going to do two more quick exercises. This one's for our spine. Again, so important to try and get our spine, every part of our spine moving, so we're not getting any issues with our lower back and stuff like that when we're going into running sessions and stuff like that. So from there, all we're going to do is come right up into the cat cow position. So right up into the cow, so right up, tuck your chin into your chest, and then from there, just let yourself fall down. So fall down, arch your back as much as possible. All right, so arching, and then from there, we're going to start with the bottom of our backs, so bring our hips forward, hips forward, start to feet, every part of our spine move, and then tuck the chin into the chest. Good. This time, if you can, dangle your head to let it fall and then start to bring your chest nice and slowly to the floor and arching out again. Good stuff. Last one. Again, start with the lower back. So just moving your hips, coming forward, feel every part of your spine. Crunch up, chin to the chest and relax away. That's it. Good stuff. Arch the back again. Lovely. Last one then, we're going to do a wee bit of calf and hamstring work again. So all we're doing is pop your bum up nice and tall and start to walk the calves for five, four, three, two, one. From there, we're just walking a wee bit closer. Again, keeping your bum up nice and high. Walk out for five, four, three, two, one. Walk forward again. Last time, hold it and then walk. For five, four, three, two, one. Relax, good stuff. Well done, Debbie. So, probably took a wee bit of regular time to get through that. Again, whenever you get used to these sort of exercises, you can run through it a lot quicker before a session. So, normally that would only take maybe seven to eight minutes before and um, we get into a wee bit of strength work before getting out in the field. All right, so I'm um, going to go into. Um, a wee bit of mini band work. So if anybody has a band, brilliant. If you don't have, don't worry about it, all right? So what we're gonna do is pop the, the band on now. If you don't have it again, I'll give you a without it, all right? So pop the band on, just above the knees. Again, if you don't have the exact same exercise we're doing here, but I want you to have a concentrate on using your boots, so your boots, your bone muscles, so nice and strong, you're doing all the time, all right? So constantly thinking about it, trying to get it to work, all right? So from there, we're going to get into um, a nice wide stance. Slightly. All right, so sitting into your squat. All right, so sitting in, again, nice and tight in the core. We're going to imagine there's a plank of wood between our feet, and then we're just stepping to the side. So nice little small steps, push to the side, push to the side. Squeezing the glute all the time, do six steps, and then we're just going to walk back. Keep that chest up, back nice and straight. Again, back straight all the time. Tiny little steps, plank one between your feet, and get back to the start. Good. From there, we're just going to go into six squats. Push your band apart. If you don't have a band, don't worry, just get a wee bit deeper in your squat. So, squat, squeeze the glutes. Squat, squeeze the glutes. Nice and strong. We're trying to get them fired. Good, push, squeeze, push, squeeze. Good stuff, well done. From there, we're sitting in again, so we're sitting down to that lowest point. If you don't have the band, just copy the same exercise now. Sitting down, and we're starting to move our knees. So move our knees, nice and fast, and stop. Go, stop, when I say stop, push your knees apart. Anyone that doesn't have the band, sit a wee bit lower. Fast, stop, go. Stop, go, and come on. Good, should find that wee bit of a fire in the glutes, wee bit of the quads as well. Good stuff. From there, again, same thing. If you don't have the, the band, sit low, and we're just gonna push with one leg, but we're nice and solid in our core, we're nice and solid in this outside left, left glute. Push in and out, nice and controlled. We don't wanna be all over the place moving like that. Nice and solid, push. Push, push, push. Good. Set again. Same as that. Out and in. Push, 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 
Hush and relax. Good stuff. Well done, Deadly. Throw off the band. Great work. Well done. Again, the reason we're doing that, our main, our strongest muscles in our body are our glutes and our core. And if we don't have those muscles firing before we get into a pitch session or running session, your chance of injury is increased as well. All right. So, um, next one, did this last week, dead bugs. Can't underestimate or can't explain to you how important doing the legs with dead bug before session is getting your core fire, working it correctly. All right. So if you have a weight, you can do it with a weight. If you have a band, you can do it with a band, or even just setting as simple as the football. All right. So just lying back on your mat. From there, we're going to try to get our back as tight to the floor as possible. All right. So dig your back into the floor. Always concentrating now, keeping that back nice and tight to the floor, all right? From there, hold your football above your chest, and we'll just start by lengthening out our left leg and pulling it back. Right leg, pull it back. Again, what our back wants to do is pop up. If we're being nice and strong in that position, we're just solid, we're not letting the back pop. That's it, left, right, left, Right, good, nice and strong, nice and controlled, no fast movements. Good, from there we're gonna change it, we're gonna go two legs together, two and back. Again, if your back's gonna pop, if you don't have that strong before, just bring it to where you find it's gonna pop, pull it back. So that could be here, or that could be the whole way to the floor and back. Nice and strong, moving, squeezing the tummy tight. Good, from there, just doing another couple, three, two, one, and then reset. Nice and strong, get your back into the floor. Feel like you're sucking your belly button down into the floor. This time we're gonna move the arms and legs again, a wee bit tougher, two together. One, two, that's it. So arms go back, feet go forward, nice and strong. Two together, nice and controlled. Doing, trying to get 10 of those done, and then we're gonna change it up, good stuff. Nice and strong, two together, good. Five, four, three, don't let that back pop up. Two, and one, good stuff. Everyone, nice one. Great work, well done. Take a wee rest there for a second if you, if you have to. What I'll do is get everybody just to watch the screen for this part. I'm gonna do what's called a plank shuffle. And um, starting off, so this one's again a wee bit for adductors, a wee bit for that pelvic area and your core as well. All right, so starting off, get into that plank position. Everybody should know a plank uh, position. Again, from here, what we want to do is get our feet nice and wide, nice and strong, and then we're just going to slide our feet back and hold that position. So again, we don't want it bowing down our hips to the floor or hips away up in the ceiling. Slide back, shuffle back, hold it for four, three, two, one, and shuffle back to the start position again, all right? So we're gonna complete that with these 30 seconds. I'll give you a count, we'll get into it now, all right? So set yourself up, onto the elbows. Again, feet nice and wide, core tight, plank or a glass of wood on the, or a glass of water on the back. We don't want it to spill all over us, all right? Shuffle back, hold it for four, three, two, one. Shuffle forward, squeeze the tummy tight. Again, no hips bowing, no hips in the air. Shuffle back again, so shuffle down into it. Hold it for three, two, one. Shuffle forward, good. Two more to do. Shuffle, squeeze the tummy tight. And walk forward, good. One more to do, nice and strong. This is our best one now. Shuffle out, squeeze the stomach. Four, three, two, one. Shuffle forward, hold it. Four, tight stomach. Three, two, one, relax. Good stuff, everyone, deadly. Everything should be firing now. Glutes, core, we could have a doctor, we could have grind. Good stuff, body should be well warmed up and good to go, all right? so. Spend the right wee bit of time working on that, but again, I can't, I can't explain how important those type of exercises are um, before, doing, before doing heavy sessions or heavy workouts, all right? So, gonna get into a wee bit of tough work now. 
believe in a heart laser. Um, this is one that uh, my clients that um, are working on uh, on my home programs don't don't particularly like, but again, this will all be fairly good for you. All right. So starting off, you can use your ball here or not. Totally up to yourself. We're going to work for one minute on 20 seconds off. All right. So we're going to have three three full minutes of work before. Uh, we take proper rest, all right? So your first exercise is a mini burpee where we're gonna go hands on the floor, drag your knees into your chest and out, stomach tight, knees in and out for 20 seconds. Our second one is a half burpee. So we're just gonna burpee in and stay down nice and low. Set that position, out, stay down nice and low. Third one is a full burpee. So out, chest on the floor, jump up, all right? Nice and simple, one minute of work. All right, so I'm going to set a timer here on the watch. Good to go in five seconds. All right, ready? Four, three, two, one. Knees in and out of the chest, knees in and out. 20 seconds of work now. Let's get our heart rate up. Let's really start to work. Everything's been relatively simple so far, so let's push ourselves, get that heart rate up. We will fitness work first now. Good, five seconds to go in this one. Four, three, Two, one, knees in, stay low. Knees out, in, stay low. So keep your bum to the floor. We're working on our leg strength here as well. Pop it out behind. Good, nice and fast. How quick can you do it? Super stuff. How many reps can you do? Four seconds. Three, two, one, full burpee. Chest to the floor. Get up, good. Chest to the floor. And up, good, as many as you can do, fast as you can. 10 seconds to go. Well done, chest to the floor, down, and up, good. As many as you can do, everyone, three seconds, get one more. Two, one, relax. Good, well done, super. That should have a wee sweat up now. Half right up, that's the job. Grab yourself a drink if you can. If you, have it beside you. We're ready to go again in five seconds. So four, three, two, one. Ready? Mini burpee in and out of the chest. Squeeze the stomach in and out fast as you can. Knees in and out of the chest. That's it. Fast as you can go. Go. Don't stop now. Fast, fast, fast. In and out. Five seconds. Get another couple. Four, three, two, one. Half burpee. That's it. Keep that bum low. Stay down nice and low, that's it. In, stay low, kick it out, that's it. Nice and athletic in that stance. Good, in and out, in and out. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Full burpee, chest to the floor, here we go. And up, that's it, hit the floor quick as you can, get back up, that's it. Push yourself, challenge yourself, see how many reps you can do. Go, go, go. Seven more seconds, chest to the floor. Get up, how many can you do? Well done. Four, three, two, one. Good, and relax. 20 seconds, well done. Top class so far, well done. Keep pushing yourself, challenge yourself in this next one now. See, can you get a wee bit more done than you did in those last two sets? Gonna get loads of rest before we get into our next bit of work. So push yourself to the limit. Three, two, one. Where we go, knees in and out of the chest. Fast you can. How many can you do? Push in and out, in and out. Squeeze the stomach tight. Good. Fasten those legs. 10 seconds to go now. Push in and out, in and out. Quick as you can possibly go. Three seconds. Two, one. Half burpee. Stay low. That's it. Move your feet fast. Nice and athletic. In your stance. Fast as you can go. Pop it out. Pop in. Good stuff. Good, have them quick as you can. Seven seconds, five seconds. See if you can get two more. Four, three, two, one. Full burpee, chest to the floor and up. That's it, quick as you can. That's it, make sure you're getting more done than you did in the last set. Push, chest to the floor. Get up, good, get that heart rate up. Drive it through the roof, good work. Seven seconds, can you get two more? Down, and up, one more, let's go. Down. And up, good work, well done everyone. Brilliant. Take a wee rest, grab a drink. Whew. 
And I said, so first off, good everyone, well done. So first off, well done. So take a rest everyone, we're going to get into a wee bit of mobility work again now in a minute. So first off, I'm sure some of you have noticed that I got an extremely dodgy haircut from the brother there. Long cut. Um, I'm sure some of you are getting a good laugh out of it. Um, great work so far, everyone. Um, as we go now, while throwing in a couple of the exercises, just have a good watch of the, of the screen here. Have a way to practice this one as well. It's, it's just challenging your body to move in different ways, all right? So um, I'll give it a go here to start. You have watch. All we're going to do is sit in as low as we can, try to take a big step out to the side, and then from there we're going to slide across using our grind. From there we're going to flick our right leg back behind us, and then from there we're just going to swivel and squat into that low squat position. When we're here, we're going to slide into our left foot, flick it out behind, turn, hopefully you can still see me there, so flick it out behind, turn and into that squat again, all right? So all we're doing is a few different movements, see how we get on, I'll work my way up towards the camera here and see can, can you follow me, all right? So set up, challenge your body, a wee bit of crack as well, see can you get your body moving in different ways, see how low you can get into your squat and stuff like that. So ready, sit in, chest up, one leg out to the side and slide through the grind. From there, keep that left leg nice and solid, flick the other leg behind you, and then swivel and stay there in that squat. Chest should be up, back nice and straight, bum nice and over the floor, step to the side, slide, pop the leg behind, twist, and you're getting into the squat again. Good stuff. Good. Hopefully everyone's um, not falling over the place doing that. Again, we should be nice and solid in our core, using our glutes to stabilize ourselves as well. Gonna do one more of them, see how we get on. Ready, sit in, big step to the side, slide with your grind, flick behind, twist, and stay low. That's it. Out to the side, slide, flick the leg behind, twist, stay low. Good, well done. So far, a couple of um, Conor McGregor wannabes maybe doing that too. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you can do it as good as he can. Good work, well done. Getting into a wee bit of uh, tough work again here, everyone. All right. So um, this will be where we need our bench. All right. So grab your bench, pull it in. All right. So uh, if you just have a normal, normal chair, you'd be careful for this. Your first exercise is a single leg squat. So again, challenge yourself with this. Some people might find it extremely difficult. Some people might find it very easy. So that's so all you're going to be. Again, I might be too stable here myself, so challenge yourself and work on it, all right? So first of all, just go on one foot off the floor, ball like in front of us, and we're just coming down nice and slow, touch your bench, come back up, squeezing through that quad, squeezing through the glute, all the time trying to keep your, your heel on the floor steady. So Here we go, down and up. Going to go six on each leg, all right? So stay on that leg, down and up. Nice and strong, try to not uh, let your, your leg drop onto the, onto the floor. If you find that really difficult, just go with a normal squat, touch your bench and come back up. Again, just if you can, challenge yourself, sit into it and come up. Good, well done. Once you have six done, just swap into the opposite side, pop the ball out in front. So this is my kicking leg, might be a wee bit more difficult. Turn and up. Nice and strong. Slow down and up. Get your rhythm, point out the front, down and up. Nice and solid in the core, nice and solid in the quad, nice and solid in the boot. 
Okay, so I uh, know I'm right now just going for another one or two. Two. Ways for there is quite flat. Sticking that leg out behind some of the older ones, 17 or 18 year olds doing it. You could use two dumbbells or two um, weights, anything at all. You could use water bottles or books or anything. But for the purpose of this one now, we're just going to stay with the football. And all we're going to do is sit in. So one foot on the bench, try to walk. So again, we want to imagine. Imagine that there's a wee spoon in between our legs and we're sitting onto that bench. So ready? Out in front, sit and drive. So we're using that glute to power back up, sit and drive. Good so nice and strong. Sit onto it, push back up, squeeze the glute. Doing each side of this one. Good stuff. Just working for another and change. Good stuff. Swap the leg, could be a wee bit tougher. Sit in, push, and squeeze. So sit, push, squeeze. Use that glute, be nice and solid in your core. Sit into it. Drive. You probably find a very stretched in front of your hip flexor on the leg that's on the bench. Just keep walking though. Sit in and drive up. Good. Last couple. Three, two, one. And relax, good stuff. Um, again, we're going to do two exercises here. So, this first one is a single leg hip thrust. Um, probably most of you should be starting off with this one. Uh, if you haven't been doing any strength work in a while, start off on the floor, pop one leg out nice and straight. Again, back tight to the floor, so it's tight. I'm going to try to squeeze the legs so you can hold the ball up above your chest again. And from there, we're just going to drive up, squeezing our glute on the, on the left side. So hips up to the ceiling, sit up tight, down to the floor. Push and squeeze, push and squeeze again. Working on glute strength there, drive up, squeeze. We're doing six each side, just give it another couple. Two, one, relax. Good. So up side, leg out in front, drive up and squeeze. Good. Oh, I'm cramping here. That's it. I did a session earlier too, so that's it. Ready? Push, squeeze. And I'm going to do it. That's it. Good stuff. You just keep working through it now. Push up, squeeze, squeeze that glute, so squeeze as tight as you can for five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Good stuff. Well done, everyone. Nice one. Just if you want to take a watch here, um, anyone that is a wee bit more advanced or has been doing uh, work in the gym a fair bit or any home strength work as well. There's a good exercise to progress that a wee bit further and that's using the bench. So you can go um, shoulders back and bench to your leg back and bench there. So from here, we want to try and connect our ribs to our hip and keep it nice and solid all the time. So our core is as strong as possible. As we're doing so one leg out front, you're coming down, keep everything connected, core is tight there, drive up and squeeze the glute on that left hand side. Try and bring yourself up to that straight position, but not, not at the expense of that arch up your back like that. So core is tight, connection made, down, push and squeeze. Down, push and squeeze. So you should get a wee bit more out of your glute as you're doing that. But for tonight, we're going to stick to those three exercises again. So reset, we're going to get into it again. Your first one is your single leg squat. So set up, six on each side. If, you're, if you can get through the week with quicker than I can, fair enough, just keep working through it. All right, so start off, pull out the front, sit in. Nice and strong. Touch, back up. Again, I was sort of thinking of other things there. Be nice and controlled. Pick a plank out in front, sit, and come back up. So you should all be nice and strong, nice and solid in that single leg movement. Stern, drive up. Good stuff. Do it six. That's it. We'll give another 10 seconds or so. Be strong. That's it. Good. And swap inside. Ready? Sit in, touch, and back up. Nice and strong. Sit. Drive back up. 
but don't be strong. That's it. Sit. Drive through it. Just another three. Good stuff. Sit and drive. Two. One. Relax. Stop. Well done. Straight into our Bulgarian split squat. Straight in three. Push and squeeze. Sit. Push and squeeze. Good. Good. Last couple. And change. Stop. Well done. Sit in again. Drive up. Sit in. Drive up. Nice and strong. Try to keep everything nice and straight. So keep your leg, your knee. We don't want to drop it inside our, our big toe, keep it dry right over the top. All this good stuff. Last couple and that's good stuff. So from there into our single leg tip thrust. Good. Keep working on it, everyone. And that's it. So it's a wee bit of us, but we get into the top work again a couple minutes. All right. So down, drive up to the top. That's it. Good stuff. Good, down, drive up to the top. Good stuff. So squeeze the glutes. We're doing six each side. Every time you come to the floor, get your back tight, get your core tight, drive up. Good stuff. So nice and strong. Three, two, one. Swap the sides. On that right hand side, leg up nice and straight, core tight, drive up and squeeze. Down, push and squeeze. Good stuff. So well done. Last few of those. Down, drive up. Good, down, drive up, well done. Nice and strong all the time, last couple. Three, two, one, relax, good stuff, well done. Nice one, everyone. Take a rest, we're gonna get into a wee bit of a heart race for here again. Get our heart rate up and we do one more set of that and before we finish, good work. Again, I suppose the stuff that might, you might find a wee bit slow, a wee bit boring, is probably always going to be the stuff that um, that can really improve you um, on the football field as well. So that's all brilliant for um, unilateral and single leg strength. All right. So um, concentrate on it when you're doing it. So so. All right. And to start off, I'm just going to go into a couple of um, exercises here to try and get your heart rate up as much as possible. So again, really really simple exercises. So we're going to use the ball on the floor to start off, and then. Um, We'll see how we go. All right, so your first couple is just going to be toe taps, top of the ball, left and right, left and right. From there, then, you can go me, down, and jump across the ball. Down, up, jump across the ball. Just going to do it for about 45 seconds without stopping. I'll tell you when to change over, and then we'll get straight back into that leg strength and work again. All right, so ready to go in three, two, one, where we go. Toe tap and box, fast as you can. Left and right, left and right. That's it, push, push, push. Get the knees up. Nice quick change over, fast as you can. Well done, there's 10 seconds gone already. Push, left and right, left and right. Keep going, that's it, strong all the time. Fast, fast, fast. Well done, 20 seconds gone. Quick as you can go, quick as you can go. Fast, fast, fast. Well done, two, one, change. Work we test the floor up, jump across the ball. Down and up, jump across the ball. That's it, quick as you can go. 35 gone, 10 seconds to go. That's it, quick as you can go. That's it, push, push, push. Five seconds, up and over the ball. That's it, chest to the floor. Four, three, two, one, relax. Good stuff, well done. Nice one, so we're out here for rest. I'm going to get into our spend work, see how much more difficult it is now that I'm having it up. So try to relax yourself, bring your breathing back to normal, and we'll get into our single leg squat. Down, try up, nice and strong. Should be a lot more difficult now, but focus your mind, take the spot out in front, sit, drive. Good stuff. Well done. There's three, four, good. Five, last one, six, good stuff, well done, swap the sides, and nice and strong again, right leg, sit, drive up, good stuff, well done, nice and strong, squeezing the glute, that's it, keep working hard, that's it, flying everyone, drive up through, squeeze the glute, that's it, last couple, two, one, and change, good stuff, one foot up on the bench, 
Same again, the press, turn, squeeze the glute. Sit, squeeze the glute, nice and strong. Push, squeeze, use that, that front leg, nice and strong. Imagine you're taking off on the feet. That's it. Into that take off position, good stuff. Two, one, straight. That's it. Be strong now. Sit in, drive up through it. Good. Last couple of reps now. That's it. Four. Good. Nice and strong. Three, two, one. Good. Well done. Onto the back, on the floor again. Pop the ball up. One leg up. Drive up and squeeze. That's it. So squeeze that glute as you come up. Again, concentrate the whole time. Core tight. Back. Flat it. Time you come to the floor. Good. That's it, nice and strong. Push and squeeze, push and squeeze. Last couple, and change sides. Good stuff, onto the right hand side. If you want to test yourself a wee bit, do it up on the bench. If you haven't done this stuff before, stay on the floor, good stuff. Drive up, squeeze that glute, that's it. Be strong, that's it, well done. Last couple of reps, and then we're into a good tough finisher. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff, everyone. Well done. Nice one. Really good. Going to get ourselves into a fairly tough bit of work now next, everyone. So um, get yourself set, grab a drink, set up for it. We're working there about 47 minutes or so. So all we're looking at here is about five minutes and we're done. All right. So it's going to be fairly tough work now for five minutes. Um, so if you want to watch there, um, I'll run through with eight exercises to do. And um, again, as I said, this will be fairly tough. And um, if you want to watch me first, I'll run through the first eight, and then I'll uh, I'll explain as we go as well. So your first one is the press up with a roll. So we're just going press one hand on the ball, one hand on the floor, roll it across, down, push up. If you're struggling with that, don't worry, you can just go without the ball to the chest there to the floor, push back up. Our next one is straight back up onto the feet. The high knee tuck, so we're just going ball on the floor, tuck the knees in, up and over. Turn, tuck the knees in, up and over. The next one then, tricep dips onto the bench, down, drive up through the hands. Down, drive up through the hands. All right, try to keep your back nice and close. Your fourth exercise then is a lateral bound over the ball, so the ball's there. Bound across, knee up. Bound across, knee up. Bound across, working on that glute lateral. Push, push, as you can. We we'll work on those four first and get into the next round after that. It's going to be 30 seconds on each exercise, everyone. Two minutes of tough work. Ready to go in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Press up, roll the ball across. Press up, nice and strong. Press, roll it across, press, roll it across. Good. If you're struggling with that, just a normal press up, down, and press. Good, everyone. Nice and strong now. That's it. Super work. Push, nice and strong. Well done. Keep going. That's it. You're over halfway. Down, press, roll it across. Down, press, roll it across. Well done. Last few seconds. Four. Three, two, one. Changing into that tuck jump. Ready? Two, one. Tuck up and over. Tuck up and over. Keep going now. up and over. As fast as you can. Get those knees up as high as you can. We're nice and athletic in our jump. That's it. Drive that heart rate up now. That's it. Good. This is the last wee bit of tough work tonight. We're talking about four or five minutes. Up and over. Tuck. Tuck. Good, nice high jump, that's it. Push, push, push. Nice and athletic. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Go to the bench, down and push. Way to go. That's it, quick as you can do them. Nice and strong in it. That's it, 30 seconds, gonna be tough work. Get yourself through it, 15 gone already. Good, keeping that back nice and tight. Push up, good. That's it. Strong all the time. Push through the backs of the arms. Good. Nearly there. Four, three, two, one. Change the last time into those lateral bounds. Lateral bound across. 
up and over, up and over. That's it, fast as you can. Push, push, push. Get the knee up all the time. Be athletic in that stance as well, so we're nice and strong. Knee up, knee up, knee up. Good. Hop over the ball. Be strong in that nice athletic stance. Good work. That's it. Good. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Good, everyone. 15 seconds rest now. And we're going to do that again with half the time, all right? So it's only 15 seconds on. One full minute of work and total. Good work. That's it. So reset now. Ready in three seconds. Going into a press up. Two, one. There you go. Press, walk across. Press, walk across. That's it. Strong. Roll it across. Press up. Roll it across. Press up. Good. If you're not doing it with that, just doing your normal press ups. Two, one. Up onto your feet. High top jump. Up and over. Where you go. That's it. Get those knees up as high as you can. Don't be lazy now. That's it. Get it up and over. Good. Imagine there's a hurdle there. Getting up as high as we can. Two, one, change. Tricep lifts straight in. That's it. Back nice and tight. Push through the backs of the arms. Good. Nice and strong. Fast as you can go. Good, everyone. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Change that lateral bend. Up. Get that knee up. Pop across the ball. Knee up. Nice and strong. That's it. Brilliant. Ten seconds to go. Keep driving that heart rate up. Push. Push, push, push. Good, everyone. Last four. Three, two, one. Relax. Good stuff. Well done. Deadly. Whew. Good work, everyone. Coming towards the end. All we have is about two minutes to go. All right. So great work. All right. So our next three, um, next three exercises. Have a wee bit of crack with it as well. And um, we're looking two core exercises with um, one adductor exercise and one um, one wee bit of uh, tough work as well. Wee bit of skill work too. So if you watch me, your first one that we're going to do is a plank into a glute bridge roll. So fairly tough. All right. And um, have a wee bit of crack with it, see can you do it, see how you get on. So we're starting in plank. From there, we have to try and flip round into a glute bridge. So from there, we want to land in this position. All right. And then get back into a plank. So watch from here. Ready? Flip round. And set. Come back. All we have to concentrate on is not letting our, our hips or our glutes touch the floor. All right. So watching from this side. Here, down, roll, hips up, roll, hips up. All right, so we will crack, see how you get on. Next one then is dead bugs with a setup. Sorry, I lost my ball. All right, so dead bugs onto the floor. Again, dead bug, nice and strong. We're gonna do 15 seconds into sit ups, driving the ball overhead. Our third exercise is a light adductor squeeze on our ball. So popping the ball between our legs and just squeezing on the ball for five seconds. Relax. Squeezing the ball for five seconds. Relax again. Working on our adductors, working on our grinds. And then our last one is a pick. So a pick up. So we're leaving the ball here. Take about three or four big steps back. Run, pick up, pop it down, run, pick up. Top down. All we're going to do is try to drive our heart rate through the roof. Finish it off. Finish the session nice and strong. All right. So first exercise, starting off with that plank into glute bridge. Ready to go in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Roll. Keep your shoulders on the floor. Hips high. Roll. Hips up, nice and strong. Down. Good, everyone. Well done. Fifteen seconds to go. That's it, good stuff. Nice and strong. That's it. Core tight. That's it. Roll. Hips up. Roll. Hips up. Nice and strong. That's it. Three, two, one. Good. On to the floor. Dead bugs for 15 seconds. Ready? Right? Where we go. Core tight. That's it. Exercise we did at the start. Nice and strong in the core. 
our back comes back to the floor. All the time. Good. Forward and back. Nice and strong. Ten seconds to go on this one. That's it. Good. Five seconds. And then we're into our sit-ups. Three, two, one. Drive the ball above our head. Nice and strong. Core tight. Sit in. Drive up. Good. We don't want to use momentum now. No ball behind us and firing ourselves up. Ball's always up ahead of our face. Drive up to the ceiling. Four seconds. Three, two, one. And pop the ball between your legs. Good stuff. Again, don't squeeze too tight in this because you'll be extremely sore tomorrow. Ready? Press in the ball for four, three, two, one. Relax. Same again. Push. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Same again. Push. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Ten seconds. Push, four, three, two, one, relax. Last one, squeeze, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Good stuff. 45 seconds left for the night now, all right? Big push for your last 45 seconds. Set the ball back to the front. Ready to go, two, one, pick up, that's it. Get back, challenge yourself left and right foot. Girls, you can do it, just pick up off the floor. Challenge yourself to do it as quick as you can. That's it. Back and forward. Good stuff. Picking left and right. Forward. That's it. So sorry, you always leave it on the floor. Fast as you can. Pick up. Drop it. Get back. Quick as you can now. Good stuff. 25 seconds gone. This is the last bit of the night now. Big push. That's it. Good stuff. 15 seconds. Pick and back. Quick as you can go. Left and right foot. That's it. We're nearly there. Good, 10 seconds now, come on. How many more can you do? Good, last five. Good, four, come on, keep going. Three, two, one, and rest. Good stuff, everyone, well done. Oh, good work, well done, brilliant effort. Good, so just try to get your, get your breath back. Try to relax your, relax your breathing as much as you can. Get your heart rate back down and chill. Good stuff. Well done, everyone. Brilliant session. Again, it probably took a while to warm up, took a while to get into it, but I suppose when it's our first class um, with an older group and working on um, working on the necessities, basically, probably takes that a wee bit longer to get through. And uh, so hopefully next week or the week after, uh, we'll be able to push it. A wee bit tougher, and uh, we'll be able to get into exercise a wee bit quicker as well. So, um, well done. Um, we'll just do a quick wee cool down, a uh, quick wee stretch, and then we'll let you finish up. All right. So, first off, all we're doing is a nice big deep breath. So, breathing in through the nose, right up to the top. Hold your breath as best you can for three, two, one, and then a good big deep. All right. Good big exhale and then just relax out through the fingertips. That's it. So I'll do it without talking this time. So breathe in. Relax. That's it. Out through the fingertips. Same thing again. Last time. Breathe in. Five seconds up to the top. Four, three, two, one. Relax away. Good stuff. Well done. Lovely. Just from there, coming down onto the front into a hip flexor stretch. So slide, slightly forward, and then breathe in, reach up, breathe out. Try to bring your head onto your knee, then so stretch the hamstring. Two, one, and change. Good stuff. Same as that, then breathe in, breathe out, head onto the hamstring. Two, one, relax, good stuff. Just pop them around, walking out the calves for five, four, three, two, one. From there, come down into pigeon stretch. So bring the leg across the body, come up tall, good, and bring the back across. Walk out the calves again for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the leg across, five, four, three, Two, yeah. nice one. Last, last two. Just gonna stretch out the back. So come right down underneath. Arch the back. Three, 
two, one, sit back into it, and relax, good stuff, and rest, good stuff, have a well on, great session, hopefully you enjoyed it, um, it's good tough work if you're, if you're pushing yourself to the limit there, so just if anybody has any questions, you're welcome to stay on there for a minute or two and talk through them, um, there's also a couple of things there, uh, we, we are doing up um, home programs and strength and conditioning programs um, at the minute ourselves. So if anybody is struggling, even with running programs and stuff like that, don't be afraid to give us a shout. We'll be able to uh, help you out in whatever way we can. And just give us a text on Instagram or Facebook or anything, and hopefully I'll be able to help you out in some way. Um, other than that, if you have any questions now, just give us a shout.